guys, it's W, and I'm going to work on a poured painting or flip cup. Let's call it flip cup, since I always say poured painting. I feel like I'm doing something different. <laughs> Anyways, um, my colors are all mixed up, and I'm using latex. I'm using latexes and acrylics. <laughs> I'll speak a little slower. Maybe I can speak better <laughs> for a few seconds. Anyways, um, so... Uh, I think everything's ready to go, and, um, let's see, I have them all, I keep my paints very thick, and, I mean, you, you know, you can mix them, mine are very thick, like milk and magnesia, <laughs> I can't think of anything else, if you think of something else is as thick as that, then let me know, buttermilk, but that has lumps, <laughs> so, milk and magnesia, we're going with that one. And, um, so, that's the story. I like having a few of them thinner, but today, this, this particular painting, um, they're all going to be thick. And so, uh, let's get started. Hey guys, um, ooh, I think I need to get you here a little better. Alright, this time I'm going to use... I'm not going to shoot any white in it like I normally do. Ooh, that could be a big mistake, but we're going to find out. Um, anyways, I'm going to do it red, yellow, red, orange, and yellow. Can you see those? Get over here. There we go. <laughs> and then, instead of shooting white down the middle, this is a purple. Purple, blue, kind of. Okay? So that is the game plan. So that's an 8x10 canvas. And we're going to pour some red in there. I love red. I mean, I love red in my paintings. It's not my favorite color, but in my paintings, sometimes it kind of is. So, uh-oh, here comes my little dog again. And I think she knows. She must know what's going on because she thinks every time I do this, she now gets a treat. Unless maybe she has, I don't know what's up with her. <laughs> She's looking at me like, hey, oh, Mom, come on. What's up, Lacey? What's up, babe? Okay. So I put each one of these colors in here twice. And here comes... A purple and it's gonna go down the middle. Whoops, how you guys? Whoa. Well, it's gonna go on top too. <laughs> you hear her? I don't know if you heard that. Oh, you know what? That's more blue than purple. I wonder where the blue went. They look alike in these containers. Okay, so <clears throat> I could have made more, but I think what I want to do is I'm gonna come along and put some on the edges. So right. There we go. Maybe put a couple lines in here if there's anything we can do. I don't know if that'll show up or not. We'll find out, won't we? So, because I'm not too worried about losing, well, I kind of like the yellow, but I, you know what? I can just add some more yellow here. Um, I'm going to do it, pour it out of the cup just because, you know what I'm going to do too? Because these paints are old. They've been sitting around for almost two weeks. Believe that one. You know that blue? I'd rather have had, oof, I should have just done a little tiny bit of blue. Okay, so put a little more yellow in there. And orange. Come on. And just a little bit of red. I'm going to do the corners with this. Because you can put a whole bunch on there, and I've done this before. You can put a whole bunch of paint. And what will happen is a lot of times, unless it's square sometimes or circular, it'll still miss that and run off all the edges. And I'll make way too much paint. I'll put way too much in the cup, and then that'll happen. It's kind of irritating.
Hey, save some for over here. <laughs> All right. So, anything else I need to do? We'll save a little touch. Just a little. And I think... Ooh. It has some dried paint on there. Did you guys know, any of you guys that paint, that um, if you always have your art room clean, it usually means you're not very creative. That's my excuse. <laughs> this is their room in the house that's creative. See? So, yeah. Oh, there's no choice now. I've spilt paint all over this floor. Not long after the carpet was put in, it had paint all over the floor. And I, I covered it with that plastic, with plastic, and um, it still, it still had paint all over the floor. So sometimes it's what happens. I have a pottery studio, too, and we used to talk about this because I was a member of a guild, and up at the guild, we'd talk about, you know, you always knew when you were in the real creative mode because there's something about, I, I don't know if painters do this. I think you do, too, but pottery people, you love to see the other person's studio. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is an attraction. People like to see, I guess, where the creativity is going on at. Okay, guys. Whew, what do we want to do now? Maybe not too much. Our work is done. No. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. do you want me to hit it? I don't know if it's going to do much. Because, like I said, my paints are thick. There's a lot already happening on there. A lot more little bubbles. Ooh. I don't know if I want those. Sometimes I think it ruins the thing. I probably shouldn't have done that. But, oh well, it looks a little uglier right now, but maybe we can move them a little bit and create a little excitement, huh? I wonder why I got so many bubbles on there. I'm in a dilemma because, see, well, I'm about, to, I'm losing this one, so I guess I'm going to let it go this way a little bit, because I kind of was going to tell you, I like what's going on over here and over here. I did like this, but I've moved it a little too much, and we really don't need this much paint on the canvas. You really, you know, you get too much on it, and you can get some cracking, so it's always good to get a little bit to come off, but if you have a beautiful design, don't touch it. That's my advice. <laughs> Don't touch a beautiful design. No, 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 no. I've done that way too many times. So, I am just letting this pour down just a little bit. I've poured off some pretty nice big cells, but um, I'm just letting this come down over here because I think it's a little more interesting to see some of this over on this side than having it all kind of everywhere and this is really where the part of the creation comes in i mean it's not so much dumping the the cup is great if it dumps out perfect but um it's the final painting and sometimes it just doesn't dump out perfect or it does dump out perfect and i've done this i've moved it way too many times and then the beautiful design is gone and I know several of you have saw that happen with me. Okay, now I am done. Da, 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 it's done. See that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave this one alone. So I have a drying rack right over to the side here. And that's where I set them. It sits level. And that's the worst thing you can have is come back out and have your drying, your painting look completely different. 
I do love it. And I have level driving drying rack. This isn't so level you always, but my drying rack, well, it is most of the time. Of course, the hurricane could have shook it up a little. <laughs> we'll find out. I may have to re redo it, but I doubt it. Anyways, guys, I thank you so, so much for stopping by. And um, hopefully you have a great evening.